Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Anchor Advice. Um, this will be a reading for Scorpio for June 20, the 25th is almost over, 26 and 27. Of course, there's a whole bunch of people out there. This is not going to be every single person's story. Pick with yours, either rest alone. Also, feel free to stop on the energy. I could always be talking to a cross watcher or someone that you're dealing with. Um, and of course, we do have Pluto in retrograde, so that's the dismantling of systems, comfort zones, uh, routines, patterns, all that's falling away. And then we also have um, Saturn in retrograde, which is the planet of karma. So we're all getting what we deserve, good and bad. So let's see what's up with Scorpio. And we have a new moon coming up. Um, we had a Sagittarius full moon recently. But, all right, let me continue. Scorpio, you versus then June 26th and June 27th. One more shuffle, Scorpio. So a lot of you guys are co-creating um the start of something new with and it could be someone from the past with orphans you know even like a, a friend family member uh someone you went to school with you know a past relationship and it's even like you yourself you know you're rising from the ashes and you know you're going to be long term you know you're focusing on long-term goals decisions things that can benefit you in the future uh some of you guys it's like with that TikTok, it's only a matter of time yeah fork in the road uh where um, something's going to start over with someone and you guys are now going to be able to grow, see building blocks. And it could be because this person has grown up a bit, they've matured, they've uh, leveled up financially or in some way in their life. And you could be feeling stuck between a rock and a, high, and a hard place about whether or not to continue to do this with this person. Um, and I feel like, you know, this person wants to work with you. You see, it's like they want to be a team. They want to like share, share, um... You know, they just want to be able to share everything that they have with you. You know, even if they've leveled up, if they've uh, grown their own foundation, they want to share that with you. And of course, if you're not dealing with anyone, you know, uh, like I said, it's only a matter of time before you guys do come back together and be something long term. Currently, you guys could be rising from the ashes. Um, if you're not dealing with anyone, you know, you could be stuck about whether or not to... Um, do this with this person because you could feel like oh no it might be the same thing again and you know you've grown a lot so you're not sure of whether or not you should help out this person or these people at the top of the deck we have breathe and serpentipity just know that like you're getting a lot of um like things are you're in synchrony right now you'd be getting a lot of like three two three two 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 four 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 one 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 the list goes on right six 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 uh seven 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 you know and i feel like just relax you might want to meditate more um even just go outside get more in touch with mother nature because i feel like you're about to take a leap of faith into something brand new you know it's like because of your faith you know you come to the edge where you're about to experience new things in your life you know you could be like done with players done with mind games done with these patterns with this person but it might be like um, some of you guys with that imagination card, your intuition might be telling you, uh, you guys are going to do the same pattern one more time. Um, let's see, Scorpio, June 26th and June 27th. Yeah, this could be a completely new person, but it's like new person, same problem. And now like a past person is coming back. You see deception. It's like there was lies with this new person. But in honesty, if you don't heal something, um, then you'll experience the same pattern in a new meat suit, like in a new person. So keep an open mind here, even if it's a new person, or if you're not sure whether or not you should go towards new, just know that if it's a new person, you guys will become serious. If it's like a past person coming back brand new because they've elevated, you know, they've evolved, they now want to help you out, work as a team then just know it could lead to marriage you know but you could have a lot of control issues because you're just not sure you know maybe you want to have both right now like you're like i don't know if the past will repeat itself so i want to um you know have both for a little bit and i feel like you have to make a choice here with round and round because that could be a pattern that you're constantly in where it's like you're dealing with more than one option scorpio um would flirt here you know your person you could feel like they're just a flirt but I feel like they're trying to bring back, um, like they're trying to be lighthearted and fun. You know, they don't want to be all serious and like, okay, I fucked, oh, excuse me. I don't know why I want to say I fucked up, but yeah, I fucked up. Let's talk about things. 
um, excuse my language, but like, um, yeah, you, I feel like you might just want to go with the flow and make the effort, you know, uh, just remain balanced. It would very soon clearly decide what you want so you could have more than one option. Uh, I feel like that are expressing their love towards you and see soulmate and just know whoever it is that you're dealing with, they could be just a flirt right now, but this could be like, let's say it's a new person, someone that belongs in your soul tribe. Uh, maybe, you know, they're only meant to help you and help you grow and you could be feeling stuck in your life and this person will help you like make a choice help you move forward even even if they seem like just a flirt this could be someone that belongs in your life even if it's a past person that you feel like is very flirtatious and you're like why aren't they coming around quicker you know i feel like this person might be expressing their love differently and it could be because you have a choice to make you know are you trying to date again are you going to move on from your past you know you could be having to love yourself first with the let go of control issues, um, you know, focus on your own finances. That could be where both of you guys are currently at. And then on their side here, it's codependency. You know, um, they could have some addiction. They're still working out, you know, and it's like you're here trying to rush the situation. You know, it's like you're putting in the effort. But this person could have some like addiction issues or codependency issues, um, ab abandonment issues. And this could be stuff that they're working on or it's like, um, you know, they're looking for some sort of teammate and because they're kind of codependent, you know, they like to always have someone instead of being independent, whether that's a past person uh, coming back brand new or a new person, you know, um, there could also be just addictions in general, like drinking, uh, drugs, you know, there's all types of addiction, right? Shopping, money. Um, video games, you know, makeup, the gym, working out, you know, there's so many types of addictions out there um, to social media, but yeah, I feel like um, there's there could be a new relationship, a new person coming around that's helping you rise again, helping you uh, come back to yourself, and with love yourself first, you know, try not to um, uh, focus so much on what this person is doing because we can't control people only how we react so scorpio you versus them june 26 and 27 yeah with that star card and the death card there's lots of healing happening here where did my dog go okay there's lots of healing happening here scorpio at the bottom of the deck there you could be dealing with another scorpio um there are situations that are ending and situations that are transforming you know someone you could have blocked someone or someone has a wall up and it could be due to uh, that judgment energy where it's like it's a time just for you to be thinking about yourself and for them to think about themselves. You know, you could be being overcritical towards this person or even they are like you're judging them. They're judging you. But, you know, um, the most high doesn't judge. Yeah, there's my dog. The most high doesn't judge, but he will put that energy on you so that you could judge yourself. So I feel like, you know, this is like the God card, Emperor, someone, someone could be a dad here in this situation, but you could also be dealing with an Aries or a manager. You know, I feel like as you guys master yourself, there's going to be a new beginning here. This could also be, like I said, the most high, the creator, bringing in a new beginning in your life where it's like this person's going to love you, um, whether this is a path person or new, this person's going to love you. They're going to help you out. They're going to give you the same time and energy that you give them. Uh, I could be dealing with people who are kind of go both ways because we do have um, a king and queen here on this side. Um, but see, this person could be... Um, flirting with you trying to be your friend first and this could be someone you already care about and that you wanted the end all be all with you know it's just maybe they cared about money at the time and you know you really did love them and, and you helped them out a lot and this is something that they love about you that you care about them if this is like a past person you know some of you guys are getting more in touch with your spiritual side we have the emperor and empress here where it's like, um, again, both of you guys are mastering yourselves. And it's like, as long as you love yourselves unconditionally, you're going to have a new beginning in your life. 
uh, some of you guys are getting more in touch with your spiritual side as well you know getting that you know with love yourself first in this here these energies here the most important relationship is the one that you have with yourself okay because i feel like here you could love spending time and money on other people um but i feel like you have a choice on uh, commitment here with this hierophant you could have learned a lot of lessons about love like yes you love but you have boundaries see so right now could be a time just to be patient for your like happily ever after ten of pentacles because we do have 10 10 and the one right there so there is new beginnings here what's that um there's just a lot of doubt hesitation maybe even fear like to date again to um help someone out or to even maybe ask someone for help but i feel like you know this person could be like moving forward traveling getting a new car going on vacation for money or moving they're wanting to move forward with you because they love you or it's like because they want something serious you know the love that you have and with that justice card it's just things that you deserve you know like you showed this person you made a lot of effort and now you could be wanting to control them due to past um things but we have king and queen of cups here so we have counterparts due to past like lessons you're wanting to control this person um but i feel like you know you could be committed to this person as well see it's like there's cycles closing out here and you're getting a soulmate there's another 10 things are ending like the overthinking this could be things you manifested or you're overthinking about this person could be a cancer with the two of cups and the seven of pentacles see this person i feel like is very much focused on the future even if they're like a friend um or like a person that's coming back you know they could be starting off as a friend and i feel like right now there's some sort of like pause here see where yeah this person could have a wall up because um they're focused on being free like they're releasing the attachments of even of like them being too hard on themselves what's that tower and the fool and the judgment king of pentacles they could be kind of uh judging their own finances maybe even judging you due to a a past person that they're moving forward from could be a sagittarius or a taurus with the six of pentacles six of pentacles and then a six of cups so yeah you could be missing someone that you put a lot of money and time into And I feel like, you know, in the past, um, someone here was drowning, like someone was being sloppy in the past, like not thinking about how their choices affected the other person. What's the King of Cups and the Hierophant card? King of Cups and the Hierophant card. Yeah, and it's like you could have learned a lot of lessons from people fighting for your attention, um, just having fake people around you. But you could be messaging someone here that is committed to you or is committed to changing committed to growing but they will help you out here oh i feel like if you wait this person will spend more time money and um you know it'll be equal give and take in love if you're patient i feel like right now you guys could both be closed off to like expressing love because you guys could be scared both of you you know like maybe you guys both have bad experiences in love and as for this person it's like everything is changing for them in their life what's changing in their life see it's like they could have a lot of regrets here focusing on money if it was a past person and now they're wanting to come in and kind of speed things up you know because now they want commitment with you um but I feel like you guys are starting to both open up your hearts more. And there could be, again, a lot of shadow work and the ending and evolving of toxic energies and heartbreak. You see, it's like, I feel like you guys are both getting over that. So you guys being closed off and maybe scared to love both of you guys is going to, that cycle is now closing. Because I feel like you guys are going towards just better.
you know it's like you guys probably always deal with people that you know this is what goes around comes around so you guys could be dealing with the situation these next few days where it's like someone did this in the past what's the round and round and the world card scorpio yeah it's like there could be a lot of mixed signals here due to like hesitation doubt fear not being sure on whether or not like you know you should express love like both of you guys and then here on your side you're here like well i'm only gonna try if um they do x y and z and i feel like um what's that five of wands yeah just give it a chance just give this a chance. I feel like right now you just need to be patient. That's another one. We saw like three ones here already. I had, oh, 10, 10, and then there was a one, one. Yeah, so that was, because the zeros don't count. Um, just give it a chance. I feel like, you know, a lot of people, again, we're getting what we deserve right now. And I feel like someone does choose you, whether it's a new person or past person. Um, they're just balancing themselves out, masculine and feminine energy, and ending things in their life. Like, you know, maybe this person tends to always get stuck in their head, um, always think about the past. Even you, you always think about someone from the past. And that could be ending here. See Page of Cups and the Four of Wands. And the Moon card and the Six of Wands with the Four of Swords. So I feel like right now is just a time for you guys to be talking from the heart, being vulnerable, being sweet. Because this is something that could grow into a stable foundation. Could be a twin flame. Someone you want to live with. Someone that you did live with. Could have been a Pisces. And there's a lot of illusions in like success and just wanting attention. But like that's not really the truth there. Um, there's just some um, still healing needed here. In self-love. You know in order for a relationship to start. There's a lot more introspection and healing needed. See it's like um. Where did I see it? For self-love, because you guys are pretty much manifesting, bringing in, and overcoming a lot of players in consistent ways. You guys are getting what you want. So even false promises, walking away from people like that. So right now, it could be kind of mixed signals right now. And this could be like a constant pattern for you and them, where it's like um, they constantly deal with people that give them mixed signals. You do too, whether this is a past person or a new person. It's like you guys both tend to give each other mixed signals. And then you guys let your imaginations run wild. But give it a chance. You know, I feel like this could be something brand new. Even if you guys are separated right now. Um, whether it's a past person, a new person. There could be like masks being worn right now. Like both of you guys are scared to show how you guys really feel. And show your true selves. Uh, right now is just a time that you guys are getting to know each other. Getting to know yourselves personally. Building that relationship with yourself. And things will smooth out here. If it's your ex coming back, forget how they used to be. If it's a new person, don't compare them to your ex, okay? Just try to be, um, you know, uh, sweet. Allow your inner child to shine. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. You know, try to be upbeat, happy, playful. See that child, that child in you. Uh, but all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close it out here. If this resonates, you, you guys are more, and then a Libra right there. Uh, are more than welcome to like share leave a comment and subscribe much love please take care of yourselves and i'll talk to you guys later and happy birthday cancers namaste bye